I'm sitting here at Chaludo's having some lunch and it hits me just how complicated it is to have a new business come into Mont Bellevue. And believe me, I know you all have an opinion about it. So I thought I'd break it all down on this episode of The View. Hey everyone, I'm Brian with the City of Mont Bellevue and I really do want to help you understand how new businesses come into our area. Look, I see all the comments. I didn't want this, I wanted that. Why did the city get us this? We already have one of those. There's one of those in Baytown. We would rather have a this or that. The comments go on and on. I get it, but it's not that easy. You see, economic development and the role the city plays really falls into one of three categories. The first category is the city is very involved. That only happens when the land being developed is city owned. The good news is most of those projects are ones that everyone seems to be really happy with, like HEV, the restaurants along I-10, some burgers, and some others. The second category is the city is kind of involved. This is generally the city working with a developer to make improvements alongside a project. A perfect example is the city building Edgewood Drive and working with Mercygate Church and Chick-fil-A to get it done. In the end, everyone benefits, including residents and existing and future businesses. The third category is the big one. The city isn't involved at all. And that's because America. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. Yep, that's free enterprise, y'all landowners working with entrepreneurs and developers to bring new shops, restaurants, and businesses to town. And as long as the business coming in meets the city's zoning and isn't prohibited by ordinance, then they can be here. And you know, Chaludos is actually the perfect example. You've got a Mont Bellevue resident with a vision of owning a restaurant, working with the developers who have built a shopping center to have a space to make his dream a reality. Like I said, America. Ask not what your country can do for you. I really do hope this helps you understand the process a little bit better and gives you some food for thought before you flood the comment section of this post with, I don't like this or I want that. Honestly, we have some great stuff coming to Mont Bellevue and I can't wait to tell you all about it on the next episode of The View.